We're gonna see which chicken water is better, the nippler or the cup. And uh, I've already done one. If you go back a couple videos ago or a few videos ago, I've already got a different coop over here with this uh, horizontal, I think it's a horizontal. They make them go in the side of a bucket and up and down. This is one that goes in the side. So it's called a, uh, I think a horizontal uh, uh, nipple water. So I've got this over there and I'm kind of happy with it, but uh, I'm not really, really happy with it. And then I was uh, looking in, I think on Facebook or something, and I seen these show up. So I ordered some of these, and I got six of them for less than six dollars. So, and uh, now I've tried something similar to this before, if you remember. But these didn't have the ones I got before didn't have this little support on them. So this goes into a bucket, and I think it's going to sit here and kind of support the bucket. The ones I had before just came out. It was like just came out like this, and. I put them in there and it broke right here. So that's why I didn't like these to start with. But this is a different design and uh, it might give them a little more water. Uh, they don't seem to be using as much water with these so either they don't use as much as I think they do or they waste a lot. So I don't know yet. So uh, I'm gonna put these in this other coop and we're gonna try it and see which one we like better. So the uh, nippler or the cup. So uh, it's basically the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna spin the camera around here and I got a bucket over here and we'll look at it. Okay, so I got an old five gallon bucket here and we'll try and I'm gonna use just two of them to start with. I'm gonna put them on the opposite side of the bucket and uh, they come with a, uh, a washer and a little locking nut, I guess, to put on the back. It also comes with a drill bit. It's supposed to be the right size. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put them opposite of the uh, the uh, handle here. So that way I'll have them uh, opposite this way and this way to give it more balance. So. But just eyeballing it where the hose gonna be. Uh, I don't wanna go too low because I want this to support this. So I'm gonna go right here. And that drill bit's pretty sharp, so it worked pretty good. Like I said, it's got a washer and it goes on the outside according to the instructions. So I'm just gonna stick this in there and why. I don't know if I'm going to, uh, might just hand tighten it to start with. You gotta remember now, this is plastic, so. Tighten it too much and it might uh, break it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. All right, I got it pretty tight, but you can see how this goes down against the bucket. And this right here is not supporting it. It's kind of going against the bucket. So I think I'm gonna like that part of it. And uh, let's see here. You can see I went super, super accurate with it, so. Now I've already fed these. I was supposed to move these today and I was down here getting set up and they was, I was gonna uh, move them first and see how it does with the moving and then feed them. But they was making such a racket and I thought, well, heck, I can't, uh, you wouldn't even be able to hear me to talk. So uh, I'm gonna get this hung up here and we'll come back tomorrow and I'll film me moving them with this uh, water and we'll see how it did overnight. Uh, one thing that uh, I did notice, well, let me get this tight while I'm thinking about it. that really tight. 
like it. Now one thing about that, now those other ones I can mount a little lower. And of course I don't know, it might not matter. Just a little bit of water to keep it weighted down. So I've got a string here, I'm gonna tie on it. Now I've not had those, uh, I don't know if I can't stand on this bucket, but uh, they have not, because I've had that over there probably, what, six weeks, a good six weeks. They have not uh, soiled it in or anything, so uh, that's one good thing. That's why I'm not putting a top on it. I figured they had a top and get up on it. So I actually thought about maybe putting a screen on this and uh, uh, putting a screen on top of this bucket, keep stuff out of it. But if I put a screen up there, they don't get up there and they're going to poop down in it and everything. So this way, when they stand on it, it just flops over. And uh, it's easier to clean too. When it does get debris down in it, I just pull it over to the door and boom, dump it and boom, dump it out. So I'm going to spin the camera around and uh, I got a board to go across the top and I got an eye bolt and we'll uh, put that eye bolt in there and uh, tie this in. The drill bit ain't no good, it won't even go through that metal. It's already bent, it's already burned that up. So let me find another bit.
So you can see uh, they don't like new <laughs> changes. They don't like it so far, but they'll get used to it. Once they find out the water's in there, they'll like it, so. Uh, I, what I usually do is leave a lot of extra string because I might have to move that up and down. Also, I put it up a little higher because I know that's going to sag this little uh, one by, I mean two by down, so. Uh, I cut this thing too short. I meant to cut it all the way across. I don't know what happened to that. I must mismeasure somewhere, so. Uh, but it's all right, it'll work out. I just got a little piece on that other one that's worked fine. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of check, make sure it's the right height, and uh, uh, we'll come back tomorrow, and uh, getting late now, and uh, we'll move this thing and see how it does, and see if they've been drinking any. You can see the level I got on there, so. Uh, just kind of checking for leaks, too. Okay, I don't see any leaks, so uh, I'm gonna be pretty happy with this so far. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and move it and see how they drink out of it and everything. So uh, we'll come back tomorrow. One thing I have learned when you change waters, uh, you need to take that water and move it outside the old one. Cause uh, they'll sit there. If I made a mistake when I've changed them out and I set the one right beside it on the outside of the cage. And I think I'll come back later and get it. And you come back the next day and they're all sitting there staring at it and wanting to get to it. So, so I'm taking that old water and I move it outside. And, uh, that way they'll force them to go to that new water. So uh, that's a little tip there. Oh, they're drinking out of it now. Let's see if we can get some shots here. Now one of the reasons I wanted to go to this top of water and this too, I don't know if I made that clear, but it's a lot easier moving these every day. And uh, of course I'm only moving them every other day now because I want this to go to, I'm gonna take it down to almost to bare dirt because I'm really rehabbing this area right through here. And, uh, but you know, when you got three of them and uh, you have to get out and move that water and you gotta fight them and move it up and then go get it fill it back up this way I just hook to it and go and then we'll fill it up after I feed them they won't get in the way so that's one of the reasons I, re I really wanted to go to a bell water but they're so expensive just a uh, I think they're about eighty dollars just for the water and then you have to rig up a bucket and all that stuff so hopefully this will work I've got zero in the bucket and two dollars in the thing less than two dollars because I got six for shipping an airline less than six dollars so Probably got 80 cents in those, so that's 160 dollar uh, 60 cents I've got in this water. So, and the little rope I had it left over from the greenhouse. So, kind of just repurposed everything and doing this. So, uh, uh, I don't do that. I just have to pay 80 dollars for uh, water, even though I really want one. I mean, if they want to sponsor this and give me one, I'll do it. So, but anyway, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, we'll move this.
so you can see what a difference that makes and how much easier it is than have to get that old water out and uh, uh, move it and then put it back in there. Yeah, I just hook to it, move it, feed them. They're out of the way and I dump that water in there. You know, I'm done easy. And uh, I think it's done all right. They, they sucked it down. So it, they've been drinking out of it. So it's fine, I think, for them. So uh, I don't know which one I like better. And uh, uh, if you're like me, thinking about your chickens a lot. I was thinking about them last night in bed. And uh, I got a, a brainstorm. You know, I've got that other one over there with the... Uh, nipplers in it so I took one of the nippers out earlier and I put one of those cups in and I'm gonna watch them and see which one they go to the most so I'm not gonna do this on this video it's getting kind of long so but I'm gonna keep a watch on that flock over there and if they go to the cup more than the nippler then I know which one they like better you know it don't really matter which one I like better it's just one of the chickens like better right but I do like the bucket like that whether it's the nippler or the cup and so far uh, we'll see how the cup holds up. That'll be the next big thing. If they don't hold up, then we'll go back to the nipplers. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it makes it a lot easier. So, man, what a difference today makes. It's cold out here today. It ain't cold, but I've got this jacket on. <laughs> Yesterday I was sweating. So, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And uh, I'll watch it over there. I might even do a little uh, after they eat. Uh, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm just too cold. So, uh, after they eat, you wait a little while, and then they start drinking. So I'll go over and see which one I like better uh, at some point. But all I did was took that one nippler out, water nippler, and I screwed that other one in just like I did yesterday. So not no big deal. Uh, uh, I'll try to do it in on the live Monday. I'll try to have it all the info by Monday, and uh, we'll talk about it on the live, see which one I like better. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope this was a help. Gives you some ideas of some inexpensive uh, chicken waters. You know, I've got two different examples here. And I don't know where it's worked for, I know, a good six weeks. So it's on a good track. And uh, we'll see how these do. So, uh, and, you know, like I said before, I want those bell waters, but I don't want to spend the money. So, you know, I got less than $2 in this one and probably $3 in the other one. So, can't hardly beat that price so uh that's my solution we'll see how it works out hey appreciate everybody watching give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button support your local farmer we'll see you down in the farm in the next video